New at six, lawmakers are fighting to compensate people who were wrongly convicted and spent years in jail for crimes they didn't commit. This afternoon, they made their voice known at the state capitol. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson with the story tonight from Lansing. Good evening from the capitol, where the question is being raised, how much is one's false conviction worth? Inside the Capitol today, a handful of exonerees, all wrongfully convicted of crimes and all serving prison terms they never should have had to. If you were in prison like the five of us were, and combined we spent 72 years in prison, the day that, we're, that we are released from prison, we receive nothing. Some of those here from Metro Detroit. It's a sad day in our justice system when the justice system creates an injustice. Compensation. Something that would help, but it, it, it can never fix what I lost. I lost everything, man. And I'm not just talking financial, you know. Um, I missed out on a lot of my kids, man. Um, everything that my kids grew, graduations, birthdays, you can't buy that back. Senator Steve Bita is sponsoring legislation that would compensate folks like these $60,000 for each year they were wrongly in jail. These individuals who, who lost their freedom, they lost their lives, their freedom, they're just as much the. the the innocent victims of the crime that uh, that they were charged with and it's something that I feel really strongly about I think justice delayed is justice denied one can't get that time of their life back but advocates for the bill say this is a start Michigan is one of only a handful of states that don't yet have a compensation program similar legislation has been introduced and failed before supporters are hoping this time around they'll have more success we're in Lansing tonight I'm Jonathan Carlson 7 Action News